and others like talking thing also. तो एकदम छोटा करके छोड़ देना उसको किधर तो okay uh, so today uh, there are two things we are going to do okay uh, thoda jona se bhi hum dekhenge and uh, ye prophetic books kaisa study karna chahiye ek uh, hint dena chahta hu ye slides aapko jaisa meeting khatam hoega main group mein dal dunga so you can refer to it you can use it every day for studying any portion of the bible it will help you you will notice like you know in my bible also all these colors and symbols and other things that are there uh, is the method that i use for personal study okay and it has been effective useful and mere liye to acha laga to aap aapka khud ka method develop kar sakta hai ya to at least uh, jo hai usse shuruaat kar sakta hai agar aap kiya nahi hai to Uh, आप में से भी कोई फ्यू ऑफ अस वर देयर इन दैट रिट्रीट नो जैन ट्वेंटी सिक्स को जहाँ पे ये सब सिखाया था uh, शायद हम लोग सब भूल गए हैं और ज्यादा वापर नहीं रहा है तो अभी एक वापस एक मौका मिलेगा उसको याद करके शुरू करने के लिए ओके सो वी विल बी लुकिंग एट दैट तो बिफोर दैट पहला वी विल लुक एट सम स्मॉल पार्ट फ्रॉम द बुक ऑफ जोना लास्ट टाइम संडे हम लोग क्या देखा था बोल सकते हैं संडे व्हाट डिड वी सी ओके जेरोबॉम टू वॉज किंग एंड यू वॉज सक्सेसफुल ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ जोना फटाफट है तीन चार पॉइंट बोलो देन वील गो अहेड नहीं तो आप सोया रहेगा तो देन वापिस सब संडे सोया था तो आज वापस सब रिपीट करना पड़ेगा हाँ जोना का टूम के बारे में देखा था हम लोग चैप्टर टू सजेस्ट दैट जोना हैड डाइड इट वाज अराउंड एट हंड्रेड बी सी गो एंड प्रीच दैट वाज द message that was ringing in our ears isn't it uh, and uh, it's no different from the call that we are having and it is among people that we may not like to be with okay jona also was like that in our offices we may not like to talk about this subject baki sab baat kar sakta hai politics baat kar sakta hai vatavaran baat kar sakta hai you know we can talk about everything else but christ isn't it चलो गॉड टोल्ड हिम टू रन ओके अर्जेंसी एंड क्वारा दैट इज वन टू वन शेयरिंग ऑफ द गॉस्पल नॉट पब्लिक प्रीचिंग सो वी आर आल्सो एक्सपेक्टेड टू बी डूइंग दैट ओनली अर्ली चर्च डिड दैट वेर एवर दे गॉट परसिक्यूटेड एंड गॉट स्कैटर्ड दे डिट वेट फॉर पॉल टू कम एंड प्रीच दे प्रीच चर्च एट एंटी ऑक इट सेल्फ वॉज बिगन बाय actions like that okay ha uh, tarsis was around 2000 to 2500 miles away and nineveh was nearer by land just 500 miles but yet uh, jona chose choose chose to go by uh, the longer thing running away from god literally then offer thanksgiving ha offer thanksgiving offered thanksgiving okay who offered jona okay then we also saw one important thing you were saying something
PIR. We didn't go much into detail of chapter 3 and 4, but we just saw that they repented and uh, responded to the gospel. People on the ship got transformed. Who are they? Phoenicians. Okay. Aajka Lebanon, jo missile showed rana udar, uh, in addition. So they also repented. Okay. Ah, many greats were there. Seven greats, you can read it. Out of that, three are great city of Nineveh, no? great city. And uh, great wind, great storm, great fear, big fish, huh? great city. That was the first one. Three times it is repeated. Okay, then God provided also is there. A big fish was provided. God provided a plant that cooled <laughs> Jonah in the heat. Then God provided a worm. Okay, God provided what? Heat, scorching heat. Okay, so kabi kabi hamara jindagi bhi garam ho jata hai sa, hai na? Musibat hai aata hai, kida aata hai, you know? Jo bhi paisa aata hai, wo bhi kharcha ho jata hai. Kam aata hai, lekin wo bhi kharcha ho jata hai. So many times situations come like that, no? In our life when we struggle. So maybe God wants to talk to us something. He was talking to Jonah at that time. Very specifically, he was talking to Jonah. Okay. We had also seen two divisions, no? two halves. First call and second call. First call was in the first two chapters. Second call was in the second, third and fourth chapter. Okay. First call, Jonah disobeyed. He prayed. He suffered the consequence of it. He prayed. He died. Then he was brought back to life. Wanted on the shore and then went there. He would, he would have had a strange look, isn't it? Uh, when he reached there and a strange story to tell. It would have been believable because of what he looked like when he came there. Okay? Otherwise, who will believe a tale like that? No? Ki, uh, he was in the belly of a fish. Karke. Okay. So, uh, we will not be doing a full study of Jonah. Okay? We are only looking at a summary. Okay, so there are some major things that we must note which are emphasized in the book of Jonah. Okay, first thing is about missions. It is God who initiated Jonah on that journey. Jonah ko kuch pyar ne ta wo logon ke upar. Jonah or kahi pe bhi dikhaya nahi hai. Nowhere it is written that Jonah prayed or anybody was praying. But God was aware. Okay? And God's heart was always burdened for the Lord. Okay? It's not only after the Lord, coming of the Lord. It was always on his heart. Okay? That is what we can understand. Second thing, there are many things you can learn, huh? but I'm just giving a brief. Then we will go to the topic, how to study. Okay? Because many of you will be preparing to teach. Many will be preparing anyway because you are studying it. Okay, so how to study you will get to get an idea. Okay, second thing after missions that you can learn about is prayer. <clears throat> okay, does God answer prayer in this book? Yes. Does God not answer prayer in this book? Yes. Yes. What prayer? You, you know. Ah. Linson is correct. I don't know whether you noticed. How many times he prayed, you know? He never prayed for the salvation of those people. He only told God, what I promise to you, I will do. And then went and preached. Okay? But he prayed four times. Let me die. First, when God was taking his life, he pleaded for his life. Okay? Then when he got back, then he actually pleaded for his death. So is God good that he doesn't answer prayer? Many of our prayers are not answered. no. Maybe we don't know the reason. Maybe God knows why he should not. Here he was praying for life, uh, for death. Okay. 
sometimes we may be praying for promotion. I prayed huh? in Bombay. My promotion got delayed a lot. Many years. People who are uh, far less competent in the sense that, you know, uh, they were not even able to manage their daily work. They got promoted. Finally, when nobody was there, this I'm talking about Bombay, eh? Boroughs Welcome, multinational. Okay. So at that time, uh, I got my promotion. Looking back, I realized how merciful God was. You know, Bombay is not like Gujarat. Okay. Trade union violence was at its peak in those days. There were people who had got stabbed and died in our company. Okay. Outside the company. And by heading a department in manufacturing, the biggest department, I would have made myself vulnerable to those things. Okay. But it's not necessary that an event like that will happen. But I did not in those days have even the temperament to handle workmen who fought, who uh, verbally abused and, uh, you know, a small uh, conflict between a supervisor and a uh, workman would result in everyone stopping work and coming to fight. It would be one man versus 100 in the department. No? So it used to be 100, 120 people would be present. Everyone will be there. So those were days like that. We used to call it Jurassic Park. Okay. Uh, it was like the living among those violent dinosaurs that you see in those movies. Okay. My temperament never matched that in those days because I had just come out of college. I was just shaping up, beginning to handle, couldn't speak their language fluently and uh, many things. Most of the workmen were so huge and strong, no? that they could actually lift drums 50, 60 kg weight single-handed, okay, by themselves and load, charge the machines uh, <laughs> with that much weight, whereas I could, I would be struggling with 15, 20 kg of weight also, okay. So that was the kind of people and I could not, but I didn't see it. My mind kept telling me, Mera turn hai. Main kyo ban About 14, 16 years, I was there in that company okay half time ke baad i got promotion okay in a sense the second half was time of peace you won't believe it when i became the head of the department it was only a time of peace workers did what was told okay all those labor disputes and everything had gone aside okay looking forward Going through that situation, I never thought in my life that God was being fair to me. You get it? But looking back, I know how God with providentially protected me from being thrown in front of literally a difficult situation which I would not have been able to handle. Okay? So, that is how God is. Many times he doesn't answer our prayers. It's not always when we pray. Even we have prayed for dying. No, I don't know. I have done it at some point of time in life. Maybe some of you would have done it. Okay. But God doesn't answer all our prayers. Mercifully, he doesn't answer all our prayers. Okay. But he also answered when a saved sinner, no? Jonah, messed up his life disobeyed him and when he was dying he called on God he answered his prayer okay but let him go to the extreme but answered his prayer he answered the prayer of the thief on the cross okay God also answered the prayer of the unsaved okay don't think that only you have the privilege of having a God who hears your prayer and answers the people on the ship they were not saved when they cried to the same God, He answered. People of Nineveh did not know the Lord. Not one of them was saved. But when they prayed, God answered. So, 
in the book of jonah you get a vibrant experience of what god does for people in response to prayer okay third thing we know about is god about god god's abundant love we can understand his love for the lost his love for the running sinner no, saved person also no for people who are living their christian life in total disobedience of what they clearly know to be god's ways okay his love for them amazing but that is how god is we are so intolerant to each other for our weaknesses and gaps but god is not intolerant to us okay even when he punishes it is for bringing us back okay his mercy his grace okay was jonah merciful his child he was not in the ship he went and slept he never bothered to share the gospel there okay he said he will he promised to do what god asked him to do so he went and did he went and preached and then he went and sat outside to see kitna jaldi destruction aayega and all the fireworks like how we on a switch on our tv or mobile news no to see those fireworks in gaza or whatever it may be you know that uh, triggers uh, stimulates people okay so sad thing that's how jonah was that's how we are also we are sitting and watching many things but god was not like that he got involved reluctant prophet <laughs> okay very wild and brutal uh, population but to all of them he showed his love and mercy he stated it also that am i wrong in having this concern for these people you know we will be also reading the book of habakkuk no after some time we'll be studying that habakkuk has questions why are you tolerating all this evil in israel okay so god says nahi time rakha hai main jab bhi sab theek kar dunga okay and then he tells i have i am raising the babylonians to straighten the israelites okay then habakkuk asks why why a pagan you know why 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 that was the question that was on his mind but god is not like that he is merciful and gracious and uh, so that things become right he will do what is necessary the fifth thing we can see is the lostness of man okay without god without christ you are lost your goodness will not save you i have written some seven points okay uh, which were part of a sermon that i had preached long back okay so just to remind i'll just tell those points they were lost in spite of the fact that they were religious you know many people think no, i am not an atheist i am not Uh, a wild person no i am religious christians also they tell my pray karta hu mai uh, bible padhta hu mai meeting attend karta hu mai kiska virodh nahi karta hu you know so but being religious they were still lost on the ship false gods because we follow false gods many times the jesus in our heart and in our mind may not be the jesus of the bible and he may be a false god in your head you understand the jesus that you think is jesus may not be the real jesus of the bible okay and uh, you will be lost because of false gods okay lost because of sin jonah realized it even in trouble he could pray and easily he was heard but that's not the pleasure of most people on the earth okay god did hear their prayer for salvation but that's not how he deals with every situation in their life we have a god who is immanuel god with us okay and we have a different platform to deal with him lost because they rejected god's grace that's what the book of romans tells us okay lost because uh, of sleeping believers jonah was sleeping when he should have been awake okay 
people are lost because of that okay lost because being good is not good enough the people on the ship were good jonah didn't bother about them but they actually tried to save his life they didn't throw him then finally when the storm became worse they threw him at his advice okay but good being good is not good enough okay then fifth point we can learn in this book is about death what dying is what dying in a lost condition is okay how jesus is death burial and resurrection is compared to jonah's death being entombed in a fish's belly and being coughed out alive is compared three days and three night with that prophetically about what would happen to christ okay seven or sixth point about conflicts and its resolution israel or assyria ka desh dushman logi the jaisa aaj israel or palestinians hai okay lekin आज का सिचुएशन परिस्थिति देख के हमें लगता नहीं है ना इसमें पीस कभी आ सकता है इन दो डेज यू कुड नॉट लुक एट दीरियंस एंड इजराइल एंड थिंक दैट पीस कुड कम बट येट बिकॉज ऑफ वॉट गॉड डिड थ्रू जोना फोर्टी इयर्स ऑफ पीस वॉज देर दैट जेनरेशन विच गॉड कन्वर्टेड थ्रू द प्रीचिंग ऑफ जोना डिड नॉट इनवेड इजराइल ओके इट डिलेड सो पीस इज पॉसिबल not because of smart deals between countries but changed hearts because of christ okay seventh when it comes to preaching bigger the better nahi hai sometimes short and sweet is good enough jona ka ye yaad rakhna zindagi ke liye आठ ही शब्द प्रेज किया एट वर्ड्स वॉट वॉज दिस सरमन फोर्टी मोर डेज एंड निनेवे विल डिस्ट्रॉय बी डिस्ट्रॉय ओके एट वर्ड्स खत्म कोलोसल इफेक्ट वॉज देर ओके देन दिस बुक इज ऑल अबाउट सेल्वेशन ओके हाउ पीपल कैन बी सेव believers from the distressing situations they find themselves in and unbelievers who are lost they can in spite of there being so less light in their uh, neighborhood or in their country they can still know about god okay so we will now go to this how to study the prophetic books okay i will not go through it very slowly some parts i will explain in deep some parts i will just go quickly okay and you can refer to the slides later on and see before you study or teach shuru karne ka pehla okay a word of caution saavdhan hone ka bahut zarurat hai the study should be yours let god talk to you talk to your heart this is the first lesson that you must learn okay don't touch a commentary even your bible may have notes at the bottom at the side at the top at the, or somebody else's sermon you would have while they were preaching you would have written notes on it don't look at it why god wants to talk to you okay the bible was written in simple language okay hebrew in the old testament aramaic when these all these countries started attacking some of the passages especially in daniel and all are in aramaic okay and the new testament is in koine greek that is simple greek street greek jo samajh sakta hai sabko to parmeshwar ka vachan ekdam simple hai ओके okay? तो 
हमारा दिल में भी ऐसा लगना नहीं चाहिए वी शुड नॉट बी थिंकिंग इन आर हार्ट ऑल्सो दैट आई विल नॉट अंडरस्टैंड सो आई नीड समबडी एल्सेस इन साइड है ना every book in the bible whether it is revelation or daniel or zechariah or whatever it is it is meant for us to read understand and apply okay written in a language you will understand okay don't search the net or look into commentaries or study guides it is what god spoke to somebody else yaad rakhna wo aur kisi ka sandesh hai what god talked to them when i write articles for the community bus it is what god has put in my heart i am writing okay of course you can read and get a message out of it but you will not get necessarily what god wanted to put on your heart that will happen only when you study yourself if you read a lot in the net you will even get conflicting statements jitna aap padhoge उतना ऑपोजिट व्यूज भी आएगा ओके सो बिफोर यू डिग इन टू दिस एंड हाउ विल यू नो विच इज करेक्ट विच इज रॉन्ग एंड इफ यू रीड दो फर्स्ट देन वेन यू मेक योर ओन स्टडी यू विल नॉट नो वॉट इट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट सो नेवर एवर स्टडी अदर कॉमेंटरीज और अदर पीपल्स व्यूज बिफोर यू स्टडी द वर्ड ऑफ गॉड योर सेल्फ ओके preparation effort should be yours it is no substitute if your children wife or spouse study you should study yourself okay each one of us must keep that in mind we can discuss at home together as a family it helps okay but hum alsi hai aur dusre ko padh ke samjhane ko bolega so it will be the biggest disaster okay we should not let that happen you should have applied it in your life jo aap sikha hai pehla kiska jawabdari hai prachar karne ka pehla we should have practiced it practice before you preach agar jo padhta hai usme jo kuch sandesh tha wo hum hamare jeevan mein follow nahi kiya to kuch bhi matlab nahi hai dusre ko bol ke okay there is no point in telling others to change if we ourselves are not changing so god had to change whom jona first get a commitment from him to be obedient before he could preach something which will make the ninevites obedient to god's word you understand in disobedience jona could not do that preaching conclusion should be yours it should not be lifted from commentaries it has to be our message what god spoke to us okay easy hai commentaries padhne ka don't go for maggi noodles khatam ho jaoge okay तो पहला चीज कर, क्या करना है अपने को वो जो लिखा है वो जो बोलता है वो समझना है है ना रेली ना बायोटेक में वो बुक्स में जो लिखा है वो समझेगा तो बाद में जो प्रश्न आता है उसके बारे में उत्तर दे सकते हैं सिर्फ बायोटेक में नहीं सब में फार्मेसी में भी वही था माइक्रो में भी वही था लिंग्विस्टिक्स में भी वही रहेगा ओके एवरीवेयर We must understand correctly वो जो बोलता है हम जो समझता है वो इम्पोर्टेंट नहीं है ऑथर क्या बोलने वाला था वो समझना बहुत जरूरी है स्टडी द टेक्स केयरफुली सेवरल टाइम्स टू गेट अ गुड आइडिया ऑफ वॉट इट इज सम पॉइंट आई हैव क्लब टूगेदर यू कैन रीड इट मोर इन डिटेल ओके बिकॉज आई वोट हैव टाइम टू गो थ्रू इट इन दैट टाइम ओके स्टाइल ऑफ राइटिंग क्या है वो समझना बहुत जरूरी है ओके मेजर थ्रस्ट और एम्फोसिस क्या है वो समझना जरूरी है ओके वी हैव सीन टुडे नो दैट इज व्हाई टुक दिस पैसेज वो इसमें क्या क्या मेजर इश्यूज डील होता है वो बुक में हर बुक में टॉपिक सेम नहीं रहेगा ओके जोएल व्हेन वी स्टडीड उसमें डेथ के बारे में नहीं था ओके देर आर अदर टॉपिक वॉट प्रॉब्लम द ऑथर इज डीलिंग विद वॉट सोल्यूशन सी इज ऑफरिंग ओके 
insights he is giving about the future about people nations etc na about eternity first coming of christ second coming of christ we sab humko mark karke we have to find out okay what the author is telling to shuru kaise karoge color the words that will help you connect the pieces of the event okay you can see no you can see in my bible similar colors i have shown you know you can use your own colors okay ye back and symbols okay back side mein back side mein do symbols i have developed for myself what symbols i will use do symbols i put inside it helps because first time read karne ka time you do this next time you will not have to repeat the thing okay for instance time elements can be colored blue means that's what i do you can use your own color places should be marked you know minewe tarshish vaisa you keep marking the places which are there key words key words or key verses uska matlab kya hai chabi key bola to chabi na कॉम्प्लेक्स थिंग को एक्सप्लेन करता है सपोज एक पैसेज है तो उसमें एक की वर्ड्स रहेगा की वर्ड्स आर रिपीटेड आल्सो लाइक ग्रेट सिटी ग्रेट दैट वर्ड ग्रेट प्रोवाइडेड जो रिपीट होता है ना बार बार दो आर की वर्ड्स ओके रिएक्शन यू कैन यूज एन एक्सक्लेमेशन मार्क ओके वेन पीपल हर्ड जोना प्रीच there was a reaction from the people okay you must understand that something happened and some reaction was there to that okay bad things and consequences that took place okay jonah ne kuch bura kiya okay it was his decision that he will go the other way he won't go to nineveh that's a bad decision and its consequences you can mark okay predictions that are made in the bible can be colored differently reasons will be given you color it okay aage ja ke we'll see how but uh, these are some color codes that you can use okay you can also find out what tense is mentioned there okay past tense huh? present tense aapke bare mein likha hai kya future ke bare mein bolta hai kya kuch kuch cheez present continuous rahega aaj se leke aage tak okay eternity tak ke liye rahega so all that you can use short symbols at that place itself you mark every word where past tense present tense future tense is there and you will see how as you mark no your study will improve what comparisons and contrasts are made okay comparison may be my jona or ninevites ko likha kyu kyunki dono disobedient tha there is a comparison okay contrast ek hai ki jona was not liking loving them but they were trying to save him okay like that the con contrast can be marked note figures of speech there are many types of figures of speech isse bhi zyada hai mai jo simple ones ko pakda okay simile hum log dekha tha na joel padhne ka time locus ke bare mein joel was not writing about locus he was talking about locus and then telling how locus the destruction brought about by locus will be brought about by a future army okay so you have to note that and mark it metaphors he was like a lion uh, he was a lion on the battlefield bolta hai na without using the word like and all personification some things are which are inanimate are made as if they are human you know where or death is your sting death is not a living person but it is personified as if it is a uh living creature okay hyperbole ex exaggeration agar hum log ye sab dekhega nahi to you may come to very different conclusions okay when paul said i may uh, oh that i wish i speak in many tongues that you speak in many tongues he was using hyperbole he was not telling them to speak in many kinds of this thing okay puns माइका हम लोग पढ़ा लेकिन वी हैव नॉट सीन दैट ओके ही यूज पोएटिक फॉर्म एंड यूजेस राइम टू कम्युनिकेट समथिंग ओके आज देखेगा नहीं क्लाइमैक्स हमारा जोना का बुक में क्लाइमैक्स भी आता है है ना 
एंटी क्लाइमैक्स भी आता है क्लाइमैक्स बोला तो क्या सीक्वेंस ऑफ इवेंट्स आफ्टर विच समथिंग स्ट्रॉन्ग और बिग टेक्स प्लेस एंटी क्लाइमैक्स बोला तो समथिंग वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग बट समथिंग डजेंट हैपन एंटी क्लाइमैक्स हुआ ना जोना को वेन यू आर सिटिंग आउटसाइड वेटिंग फॉर डिस्ट्रक्शन टू टेक प्लेस ओके सो मार्क दो थिंग्स वेन यू आर स्टडिंग ना कभी कभी उस पुस्तक को चार बार पांच बार मार्क करना पड़ेगा टाइम एलिमेंट्स मार्क करो पहला देन प्लेस एलिमेंट्स मार्क करो देन रिएक्शन मार्क करो ओके फिगर्स ऑफ स्पीच मार्क करो ओके लुक फॉर कनेक्टिंग वर्ड एंड डाला है तो इट कनेक्ट टू थॉट्स टूगेदर ओके दो सोच को साथ में जोड़ता है कॉन्ट्रास्ट नेवर देस इन स्पाइट ऑफ ऑन दी अदर हैंड तो मार्क करो यू कैन यूज सिंपल सिंबल्स लाइक दैट नो विच यू यूज नॉर्मली ऑल्सो इजिली ओके कंक्लूजन रिजल्ट वर्ड सो देर फॉर हेन्स दस फॉर दिस रीजन ऐसा सब डाला है ना तुम तीन डॉट डालते हैं ना देर फोर वो सिंबल यू कैन यूज टू शो दैट कॉन्सिक्वेंसेज आर मैं इन दैट प्लेस फोर्टी डेज एंड निनेवे विल बी डिस्ट्रॉयड इट्स अ कॉन्सिक्वेंस दैट इज बींग टोल्ड ओके अ कंडीशन इन दैट केस इन केस अनलेस मीन्स ये नहीं करेगा तो ये होगा तो यू यू शुड ट्राई टू नोट वेन द वर्ड अनलेस कम्स क्या नहीं करेगा तो क्या होगा ओके यू टू स्टार्ट कनेक्टिंग दो थिंग्स रीजन और पर्पज वर्ड बिकॉज सो एज टू फॉर ये सब डाला है ना नॉट एक्स पर एक्सपेक्टेशन द वर्ड बट बहुत जगह में आएगा यू यूज योर ओन मेथड फॉर मार्किंग इट इन सेट ऑर्डर और सीक्वेंस देन आफ्टर बिफोर फर्स्टली अब ऑल अब ऑल बोला तो सबके ऊपर ओके लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट दीज आर वर्ड्स दैट यू यूज मार्क देम ओके यू कैन यूज वॉट एवर सिंबल उधर दिया है वो भी यूज कर सकता है या आप खुद बना सकते हैं एम्फोसिस ट्रूली ट्रूली आई टेल यू ओके मोस्ट एश्योरेडली आई टेल यू विदाउट डाउट यर द वर्ड्स ऑफ या वे ओके नोट रिपीटेड वर्ड एंड फ्रेसेस लाइक हाउ वी एट सी नो ग्रेट प्रोवाइडेड ओके दो साल सकते हैं वैसा सर्कल करके एडिशन वर्ड फर्दर मोर ओके फर्दर मोर बिसाइड मोर ओवर सिमिलर वर्ड्स आर यूज ओके एंड इलस्ट्रेशन इन द सेम मैनर लाइक वाइज वर्ड्स लाइक दैट कैन बी यूज मार्क लिस्ट यू नो देर आर ऑलवेज समथिंग सी जोना में कौन सा लिस्ट है एक उदाहरण दो सिटी लिस्ट ऑफ काउंट ऑफ इवल नॉट दैट वे लिस्ट वुड बी समथिंग सिमिलर इन टॉपिक फॉर इंस्टेंस नो लाइक वी टेल नो लिस्ट ऑफ पीपल सीटेड इन दिस रूम वी टेल इन द सेम वे वेन जोना प्रीच दे डिड अ लिस्ट अ सीक्वेंस ऑफ थिंग्स दे repented they put on sackcloth they threw dust on their faces they pleaded with god they fasted okay it's a list like that there are many places where you will find if you look no lists are there because the authors are very clear they are mentioning kuch bhi aise hi faltu nahi likha hai un log they have written things which you should know which you should note and which you should act on okay preliminary checks how was the message delivered did god talk directly to the prophet like isaiah and all or was the message communicated through visions and dreams daniel mein bahut sara visions bhi aata hai okay ezekiel ko bhi aata hai okay what kind of uh, in case of ezekiel god spoke directly also and also through visions okay what kind of literature is contained in the book okay is it a narrative जोना है सर नरेटिव नरेटिव बोला तो एक इंसिडेंट के बारे में लिखा है ओके okay? तो उसका स्टडी अलग रहेगा ओके इज इट अ पोएट्री माइका में लार्ज पार्ट्स आर पोएट्री 
साम्स आप पढ़ोगे तो पोएट्री है ओके तो उसका स्टडी डिफरेंट रहता है मीन्स बिकॉज अ पोएट एक्सप्रेस समथिंग डिफरेंटली ही यूजेस लॉट्स ऑफ फिगर्स ऑफ स्पीच इन राइटिंग ओके इज द कम्युनिकेशन रिगार्डिंग द प्रेजेंट और फ्यूचर इवेंट्स और बोथ कब के लिए वो लिखा है अभी का इंसिडेंट है या फ्यूचर के बारे में वो लिखता है ओके ओके is there an explanation within the passage no about the event okay then is it an oracle or something about a prophecy about something that will happen to someone to some country or the future okay wo rehta hai to whom is the prophet writing present readers future readers or for both okay then you need to interpret pehla ye ye hard work aap karoge na वाइल्ड स्टडी रीडिंग इट दो बार तीन बार चार बार पांच बार छह बार ओके जो ना कितना मिनट में पढ़ सकता है चार चैप्टर हाँ तीन चार फाइव टू टेन मिनट्स में खत्म हो जाएगा ओके सो दैट इज वाई सेड यू शुड हैव पेन Color pencils, you know, good to have color pencils. I have. Okay, we want to, uh, our children ka color pencils. All I am using in my Bible now. Okay, so you keep marking places, people, uh, uh, you know, reactions that come in. Everything you keep marking. So once you have marked that chapter very well, or the book very well, then you can go to this stage. That is interpreting. Okay. देन उसका मतलब क्या है कि आप जो भी डिटेल्स उस पैसेज में है वॉट एवर डिटेल्स आर देर इन दैट पैसेज यू आर फेमिलियर विद इट इफ यू आर नॉट फेमिलियर देन यू लैंड इन टू ट्रबल ओके बैकग्राउंड के बारे में ऑथर के बारे में कुछ फाइंड आउट कर सकता है ओके कॉशन उसमें भी अदर पीपल ऑल्सो हैव सेम नेम ओके यू टू बी वेरी केयरफुल ओके If you don't mind, brother, I'll just mention one example. Last time, brother, Obadaya ke baare mein ek bola kings me se that Obadaya is actually not the same Obadaya who prophesied. Okay, because or or time span uska tha hi nahi. Unka professions bhi alag tha. They were it's not the same person. So you have to be careful. Many names. There are multiple people with the same name in the Bible. You have to find out who that is. it is possible that the prophet may not have any mention in any book of the historical books of the bible okay kings may chronicles may samuel may may not be there also okay uska tribe kaun sa tha kaun se jagah pe rehta tha uska profession kya hai uske sath kaun kaun the ha huh? what we know about his family his relationship to god is he mentioned elsewhere in the bible what do these passages tell about him okay So, उससे आपको एक चित्र कंप्लीट होगा यू विल गेट अ माइंड इमेज ऑफ दैट ऑथर व्हाट ही वाज लाइक ओके जोना के बारे में भी नो ही डिसोबेड ये वो सब ना यू गेट यू कलेक्ट अ माइंड इमेज ऑफ द ऑथर ओके व्हाट वाज द वर्ल्ड अराउंड हिम लाइक ओके उसके सामने उसके नजदीक ओके वेदर द पीपल हाउ रिच दे वर और पुअर दे वर ओके वेन यू स्टडी द बुक ऑफ रूथ it setting is on what there was a famine okay there was a famine jona is set against a backdrop of prosperity okay so you have to understand what was the background like uske sath sath logon ka bhi har din ka zindagi alag rahega ओके अभी वो सुपर में हुआ फेस्टिवल में व्हाट पीपल वर डूइंग टेकिंग ड्रग्स ऑल एफ्लुएंट रिच पीपल ओके एफ्लुएंस के कारण अलग टाइप का सिंस कम पॉवर्टी में अलग टाइप ऑफ सिंस कम 
we are all sinner so sin will express itself but it will express itself differently at different times okay political situation kaisa tha wo time mein raja kon tha he whether he was good whether the judiciary many books mein likha hai na means how the judges perverted justice and all na law enforcement kaisa tha chor ko kya hota tha okay threats enemies jaisa abhi jona ke liye enemy tha assyria okay economy kaisa tha you will get clues from the text about events kings or historical events okay usme se aapko kuch kuch milega us samay kya hua tha okay are there similarities to our time so dekhne ka time na hamare samay ke bare mein soch sakta hai kuch usme talmel hota hai kya means very near is it like some situations to what we experience in our present geography what can we know about the place where he lived or ministered or spoke about past future actions described in the bible us jagah ke bare mein ek udaharan leke main aaj lega abhi thoda aage ka slide mein mera khayal se okay wo jagah abhi nineveh bola to nineveh kaisa tha tarshish kya tha okay kyun tarshish mein jaate the log okay all that you should know take a map and study it. अपने आप से सपना नहीं आएगा टारशीस कहा था कैसा था ओके यू टू टेक अ मैप जानकारी के लिए ओके जोना का स्टोरी में ओके यू कैन सी नो लैंड में से जा सकता था नीने वे यहाँ पे 750 माइल लिखा है तो बोलते हैं ना कौआ उड़ने का जैसा है मीन्स कौआ कैसा उड़ता है वैसा डिस्टेंस भी आएगा so some tell 500 miles some tell 700 miles but the distance is more or less like that and tarshish was over 2000 miles okay abhi ek jagah ke bare mein dekhte hai gilead gilead ke bare mein kya maloom hai aaj ke din mein kuch suna hai gilead famous gilead company linson ko maloom hai marketing mein hai na kaun sa company tha फार्मास्यूटिकल कंपनी था क्या क्या किया उन लोग हाँ कोविड में कौन सा दवा बनाया अरे इतना जल्दी भूल गया कितना कमा के गया उन लोग रेमडेसिविर ओके सब जन लाइन लगा के खरीदते थे ओके तो एक जगह गिलियड के बारे में लिखा है परमेश्वर का वचन में है ना हम लोग होशिया पढ़ने का टाइम आई वॉन्टेड टू टेक द स्टडी बट आई ब्रॉट इट टू डे सो दैट इज नो यू अंडरस्टैंड when you read a name try to study that place then only you will have fun okay so ye jo jagah hai ye pura gilead hai pahadi ilaka hai you can see this whole hill area okay so whenever you hear the name of a place take a map and see net mein ye bhi mil jayega aasani se okay there is a mount gilead okay there is a region of gilead which will go almost this side and there is a city gilead also and there were other cities jabesh gilead there and other things which were also in that same region which will come in uh, sandal and other places okay ye aur ek map hai gilead region aapko dikhega okay to aapko jab bhi gilead karke shabd socha na dekha to pahad ke bare mein bol raha hai shehar ke bare mein bol raha hai kya us ilake ke bare mein bol raha hai you know the, whether it's talking of the region whether it's talking about mount gilead whether it's talking about the city gilead you have to distinguish okay if you don't take a map you will not know then other problems are also there there are many places abhi gandhi nagar kidhar hai north mein ha north mein nahi idhar hai na ahmedabad ke bagal mein aap tamil nadu mein tirunelveli ke बाजू में जाएगा तो भी उधर गांधीनगर मिलेगा आपको इंडिया के अंदर कितना गांधीनगर मिलेगा दस बारह गांधीनगर मिलेगा सो व्हेन नंबर्स में गिलियड बोलता है जोशुआ में गिलियड बोलता है और होशिया में गिलियड बोलता है सेम गिलियड है क्या नहीं है वो भी फाइंड आउट करना पड़ेगा हाउ यू नो बाय द नेम्स ऑफ द प्लेसेस अराउंड इट ओके सो बी केयरफुल डोंट यूज वन नेम एंड कंक्लूड What it is? थोड़ा एफर्ट डालना ही पड़ता है देन ओनली यूल अंडरस्टैंड 
गिलियड किस चीज के लिए फेमस था हम्म गिलियड पे जम के लिए ओके एनीवे वी नॉर्मली डोंट लुक एट ओल्ड टेस्टमेंट विद इंटरेस्ट ओके ऑल ऑफ अस इट्स अ प्रॉब्लम बट वी मस्ट देन ओनली यू विल अंडरस्टैंड ओके इट इज ऑन दीस हिल्स दैट मोसेस क्लाइम माउंट पिस्गा यू नो दैट सो व्हेन द चिल्ड्रन ऑफ इजराइल दे केम फ्रॉम इजिप्ट इजिप्ट वाज ऑन द लेफ्ट ओके बट दे वेंट राउंड साइन नीचे से जाके ऊपर से दे मेड एंट्री फ्रॉम द टॉप okay they didn't come directly okay they came all the way from sinai niche se aisa idhar ek highway tha but god didn't take them there because they will get frightened king highway was there but they went through the desert and poor amount of desert there okay mount pisgah was there so god showed him the promised land from mount pisgah somewhere on the slopes of that mountain moses ka body also was buried by by god okay then jair and jephtha judges they were from that area aaj kaun sa desh mein hai wo gilead ha huh? jordan very good you must see take interest and read the bible then you will be uh, able to understand ek din this is promised land no all these are okay one day jordan will have to be part of israel the world is not going to become a very peaceful place huh? most famous you heard balm of gilead nahi nee? nahi sunaye are gana mein bhi aata hai bahut sara chorus juna jaramaya jaramaya Yeah. Okay, this is an amethyst. It's a precious stone with a balsam tree en uh, engraved on it. Okay, that balsam tree में से ही that balm उसका जो क्या बोलते हैं juice निकलता है ना उसमें से वो balm बनता है balm of Gilead. एजेक्यूल ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी सेवन एजेक्यूल ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी सेवन Yeah, I think I quoted the verse wrongly. I'll see and correct it. Okay, it's about how exports were taking place from this region. Okay, so one, think about it. We were born in that time. In that time, if we were all born when these events were taking place in Gilead, if we were all born when these events were taking place in Gilead. It's there, na? Ah, it is. I think the where I just read it. The ships of Tarshish did sing of the night market, and I was sweet when it made very glorious in the midst of the sea. Thy rowers had brought thee into great waters. Yeah, but us o passage mein kider to hai. Ah yes, yeah. so it is twenty seven seventeen. Okay, they traded in Bam. Okay, so sir, if we all sir, we were born there. Then we all got a job. We were born there. Then we all got a job. We were born there. Then we all got a job. We were born there. Then we all got a job. We were born there. Then we all got a job. We were born there. Then we all got a job. We were born there. Then we all got a job. We were born there. Then we all got a job. We were born there. Then we all got a job. We were born there. 
एंड विक्टोरिया जाके सबका बाकी आजू बाजू का क्योंकि एक्सपोर्ट करते हैं ना जाके रजिस्ट्रेशन करके आता था तो बहुत तो बड़ा धंधा होता था एंड सब वो जगह का प्रॉस्पेरिटी बहुत बड़ा हो गया था यू गेट इट तो इवन कौन है राकेश भाई को भी उधर घर ढूंढना पड़ता था सबके लिए हम लोग सब बाहर के देश से आते थे नौकरी करने के लिए राजू भाई हैंडबिल सब बना के देता था मार्केटिंग के लिए है ना ऑल ऑफ अस वुड हैव बीन एम्प्लॉयड देयर एंड वी वुड हैव बीन मीटिंग इन ब्रदर पीटी और गिस हाउस आल्सो देयर हैविंग पिक केक्स और व्हाटएवर एंड मीटिंग टुगेदर सो रीड द बाइबल विद इंटरेस्ट मींस हर एक चीज के बारे में ना देयर विल बी लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दैट यू कैन लर्न सो देन यू कैन फाइंड आउट व्हाट यू कैन नो अबाउट गॉड फ्रॉम दैट पैसेज ये पूरा इसमें से ओके वी सॉ टुडे ना that god's love mercy compassion uh, uh, grace those things we could see by the use of names by the authors okay there is a particular way in which they want to re- represent god you know when hagar called uh, god elroy god who sees okay she was visible her problems were known to him she thought no one was seeing no one was hearing but she realized that so whenever a name of god is used there is a relationship to the situation which the people were going through okay so try to connect it with that okay in the book of jonah only two naam rehta hai yahweh and elohim very simple words which are there okay statements made about god like he is compassionate he is loving experience of people regarding god you should try to find out how they experience god how did the uh unsaved people uh encounter god in jona okay how the saved person encountered god uh, you know both were sinners one saved by grace the other was not saved but both were sinners so how did god deal with both of them okay and how is god dealing with various situations that are coming up in that narrative or uh, prophecy okay how does this impact your life you need to ask that question immediately You know, ये सब देखा तो हमारे लिए क्या है ओके वॉट डू यू नो अबाउट आवर सेल्फ एंड ह्यूम अदर ह्यूम यू नो आर माइंड हाउ वी आर लेड इंफ्लुएंस टू एक्ट और सिन कैरेक्टर चेंजेस आर बॉडी लाइफ डेथ एक्सेट्रा नो आर सोल के बारे में क्या मैं वॉट चेंजेस आर रिक्वायर्ड इन माई लाइफ यू नीड टू आस्क योर सेल्फ ओके डिवाइड द बुक इन टू सेगमेंट डैनियल कैसा डिवाइड हुआ था बारह चैप्टर पहला छह चैप्टर हिस्ट्री है नेक्स्ट सिक्स चैप्टर्स आर प्रोफेसी दे आर नॉट सिक्वेंशियल ओके दो सेकेंड सिक्स चैप्टर्स फर्स्ट सिक्स चैप्टर्स आर सिक्वेंशियल नेक्स्ट सिक्स चैप्टर में भी सिक्वेंस है बट इट डज नॉट इट इज नॉट आफ्टर चैप्टर सिक्स बट इट इज ओवरलैपिंग विद चैप्टर वन चैप्टर टू एंड अदर chapters okay so while dividing you should be very careful how you divide the book okay these sections should be as intended by the author author jab bhi book likhta hai to kuch to plan karke likhta hai okay so you have to be careful about that key verses phrases and other things which he has mentioned must be noted are the contents referred to by other authors कोई न्यू टेस्टमेंट राइटर कोट कर रहा है क्या ओल्ड टेस्टमेंट राइटर कोई कोट कर रहा है क्या यू शुड नो व्हाट इज द कॉन्टेक्स्ट इन विच इट इज कोटेड ओके यू विल गेट एन अंडरस्टैंडिंग फ्रॉम इट लाइक जोएल का वी हैव सीन नो पेंटिकॉस के बारे में भी बोल रहा है ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द एंड टाइम्स आल्सो व्हेन गॉड स्पिरिट विल बी पोर्ड ऑन ऑल पीपल इज द कोटिंग ऑथर रेफरिंग टू द फुल टेक्स्ट और ओनली पार्शियली लाइक इन जोएल ही इज रेफरिंग ही इज कोटिंग आल्सो पार्शियली ओनली ही इज नॉट कोटिंग द होल पैसेज सो because it is related to what happened at pentecost okay rest of it was not fulfilled what doctrines are touched by the prophet you know whether god trinity ke bare mein hai kya bible ke bare mein what the book talks that particular prophet is telling man sin salvation ke bare mein kya likha hai creation ke bare mein kya likha hai means how we were created some things may not be there some some of the authors may not mention anything so don't bother about it फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड कमिंग ऑफ द लॉर्ड के बारे में क्या दिया है एंड टाइम्स के बारे में क्या दिया है ओके 
अपोस्टसी यानी फॉलोइंग अवे फ्रॉम द फेथ के बारे में क्या दिया है एंजल्स एंड डीमंस के बारे में क्या दिया है ये बुक में भी कुछ नहीं दिया है जोना में कुछ भी नहीं है ओके बट यू नीड टू आस्क ऑल द क्वेश्चन ऑल द टाइम है तो मार्क करो नोट करो स्टडी करो ओके डेथ लाइफ आफ्टर डेथ के बारे में क्या दिया है ओके चर्च के बारे में क्या दिया है प्रेयर के बारे में क्या दिया है ऑल दीज मेनी ऑफ दोज विच आर रेलिवेंट वी ऑलरेडी सीन टूडे वेन वी स्टार्टेड द स्टडी ओके डिक्शनरीज कंकॉर्डेंस मैप्स इंटरलीनियर बाइबल्स ओके पहला मैं क्या बोला था कॉशन किया मत वापरो करके अभी मैं क्या बोलते हैं दिल खोल के करो यूज लिबरली आफ्टर यूर फिनिश ये कब है आपका पूरा पढ़ाई होने के बाद आप समझने के बाद ओके नाउ यू आर इन अ पोजीशन टू मेक आउट व्हाट इज राइट एंड व्हाट इज रॉन्ग अगर आप शुरुआत में यूज करता था तो इट वुड बायस टू योर माइंड यू गेट इट इट वुड बायस टू योर माइंड ओरिजिनल वर्ड्स एंड मीनिंग्स देखो ओके कुछ डाउट्स है कुछ समझ में नहीं आता है तो ट्राई टू फाइंड हेल्प नाउ ओके बिकॉज एवरी वन विल नॉट बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एवरीथिंग ओके इफ यू गेट टाइम रीड रीड वॉट अदर्स हैव सेड ओके देन एप्लीकेशन पे जाना लास्ट में वॉट लेसन कैन यू लर्न अबाउट पीपल देर एटीट्यूड देर एक्शन टूवर्ड्स गॉड एक्शन टूवर्ड्स other human beings what is god expecting from us in relation to this ultimately nothing is for head knowledge everything is for application so if you don't apply it you miss the point there was no point in reading jonah then jonah is only a story nice to be heard nice to be told to sleeping children to put them to sleep how is god viewing the situation okay then how does god view the responses of individuals how did god view jonah's response how did god view nineveh's ka response how did god view the phoenician ship uh, sailors ka response you can learn from mistakes and correct actions of others dusron ka galtiyon se bhi aap sikh sakta hai how does this passage पीपल प्रॉब्लम सोल्यूशन टीचिंग अप्लाई टू आवर टाइम हमारे समय में इसमें से क्या एप्लीकेशन ले सकते हैं आर बी फेसिंग सिमिलर इश्यूज वॉट कैन बी डन इंडिविजुअली मैं अकेला क्या करना चाहिए कलेक्टिवली एज अ ग्रुप हम क्या करना चाहिए ओके टू डील विद दीज सिचुएशन वॉट आर की लेसन फॉर लाइफ फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस ओके प्रिपेरिंग टू लीड द स्टडी ओके पहला चीज यू टू प्रिपेयर योर लेसन का ऑब्जेक्टिव व्हाट इज गोइंग टू बी द आउटकम एंड में क्या चाहिए द मैसेज क्या है ओके व्हाई गॉड वाज टेकिंग जोना देयर टू नेनेवे टू प्रीच देयर वाज एन ऑब्जेक्टिव ना गॉड वाज नॉट डूइंग जस्ट बिकॉज ही वांटेड जोना टू ट्रैवल है ना तो हमारा लेसन के लिए भी हम दूसरों को एक यात्रा में ले चलते हैं है ना वी आर टेकिंग पीपल ऑन अ जर्नी सो जर्नी को एक एंड पॉइंट रहना चाहिए व्हाट इज दैट एंड पॉइंट इट इज व्हाट गॉड टॉट यू नॉट व्हाट ही टॉट जॉन मैकार्थर नॉट व्हाट ही टॉट बिली ग्रैम नॉट व्हाट ही टॉट एनीबडी एल्स बट वॉट ही टॉट यू एंड दैट इज द जर्नी टू विच यू आर गोइंग टू टेक यूर स्टडी you know during the study you will take it so that others discover what god taught you okay what is the key applications you want people to implement wo dekhna hai you know for the goal what key truths you want to emphasize bahut sara truths rahega lekin aapko sab kuch emphasize karne ka zarurat bhi nahi jitna samay hai usme what truth you want to emphasize you must decide okay लेट इन लॉजिकल सीक्वेंस है ना हम लोग देखा ना देन आफ्टर दैट वे देर इज अ लॉजिकल सीक्वेंस इन विच यू शुड टेक इट टू द गोल है ना अब यू वॉन्ट पीपल टू इंप्लीमेंट समथिंग इन देयर लाइफ सो यू मस्ट हैव अ सीक्वेंशियल थिंग टू टेक दम टू दैट गोल ओके यू कैन यू कैन जर्नी दम थ्रू दैट पैसेज लाइक दैट ओके यू विल बी एबल टू स्पीक As you have studied the passage yourself, आप खुद पढ़ा है 
इसके लिए आप बोल सकेगा कुछ प्रॉब्लम ही नहीं आएगा ओके डोंट कॉपी समवन एल्सर स्टाइल स्टाइल भी कॉपी नहीं करने का मेरा स्टाइल डोंट कॉपी ओके योर स्टाइल आई शुड नॉट ट्राई टू कॉपी देर आर नो टू प्रॉफिट हु स्पोक और प्रीच अलाइक ओके लास्ट एक क्वेश्चन के साथ शुरू किया था क्वेश्चन के साथ एंड करेगा डोंट स्पीक ऑन पार्ट्स यू डिंट अंडरस्टैंड है ना हर एक पुस्तक में देर विल बी मेनी थिंग्स यू विल नॉट अंडरस्टैंड उसको छोड़ दो प्रॉब्लम नहीं है यू डोंट हैव टू टेल इट बिकॉज इट एग्जिस्ट देर ओके ये पीटर ने लिखा है पॉल के बारे में what other people are doing with what paul wrote he writes the same way in all his letters speaking in them of these matters his letters contain some things that are hard to understand which ignorant and unstable people distort as they do with other scriptures to their own destruction so we have to be very careful also jo nahi samjha chhod do problem nahi hai jitna samjha that is what god has taught you You get what I'm telling? जो समझ में आया उतना ही हमको सिखाना है दूसरों को मैसेज विल बी फ्रॉम दैट ऑन दिस ओके वी विल एंड विद दैट रिक्वेस्ट वूल प्रे टूडे आई थिंक राकेश भाई कैन